Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, before I start cooking vegetable medleys, it is actually quite difficult to eat a lot of vegetables. As my wife often said to me, how many pieces of broccoli could you eat before you get tired of it? And without any question, a vegetable medley provides a solution. It definitely makes vegetable dishes more interesting as you bite into different kinds of vegetables, but that's only possible with advanced prepping. Uh, please do not mind that this wok looks a little bit uh, untidy. The reason is that because I cook a tofu dish in it uh, before I cook this vegetable medley. Uh, and I decided not to wash the wok uh, because it would not affect the flavor of this dish. Uh, I started with some broccoli. Now the order of how you add the vegetable to the wok is important when you cook a vegetable medley. However, it is nothing complicated. What it is is that you add whatever that you want to cook longer first. Uh, these are particular ingredients that have a tougher texture that might require a longer time period to soften them. And next, I add the uh, zucchini. And the amount that you add depends on very much how much you want that ingredients to dominate the dish. For example, in this dish, I like the broccoli a lot, so I add more broccoli than any other ingredients. You notice that at this point, I add a small amount of water, uh, which I'm going to start to steam the vegetable, uh, also to dissolve the uh, burn material at the bottom of the wok. Uh, that will add flavor to the dish. You probably have seen me doing that quite often in my other video demonstration. I, I call this spot cleaning. This is a way to clean the wok. Uh, I find this is a good way to make cleaning the wok a little bit easier later on. And next, I'm going to add some uh, purple cabbage. Uh, this is the advantage of uh, advanced prepping. And next, I also found some white butter mushroom that I could add to the dish. And with advanced prepping, I always have many different vegetables to choose from and they make my dish more interesting as well as creative. I love trying different combinations and that make my dish never be boring or uninteresting. In fact, with many different vegetables and different combinations, as my friend Jim said that, you are basically stir-frying salad in the wok. And I think Jim is absolutely right. In fact, I like his idea a lot. Maybe instead of calling it vegetable medley, I should call it stir-fry salad. In fact, the idea is very similar to a salad. By having different uh, combinations of vegetables, it making it much more interesting. Uh, both my wife and I agree that with this approach, we are eating far more vegetable than what we used to. And now we not only feel good that we are eating more vegetable, but it is also more fun. Okay, I guess next comes the salad dressing. I'm using a combination of oyster sauce and hoisin sauce uh, to create a light teriyaki flavor, which both of us enjoy. Every time when you add sauces to the wok, inevitably some of them will burn to the bottom of the wok. And the way to take care of it is use my spot cleaning method. And by squirting small amount of water over the burned material, you can easily dislodge them with your wok spatula. And this definitely makes cleaning the wok a bit easier later on. But at the same time, it also returns the flavor back to the dish. I add a little bit more water than I usually do because I want to create a sauce to go over the noodles. Uh, to thicken the sauce, I add a cornstarch suspension, which I created by using one tablespoon of cornstarch to three tablespoons of water. I make sure that I mix it really well uh, before I pour it into the wok. The final ingredients I'm going to add is some uh, cherry tomato that I have cut in half. Again, it follows that order uh, that whatever I want to cook least, I add them at the last. At this point, the sauce seems a little bit too thick for me, so I add a little bit more water to dilute it. Okay, now the dish is done. Uh, the total cook time is a little bit over 5 minutes. And when I have all the ingredients prepped and ready to go, cooking this dish is fast and a lot of fun. I know that without advanced prepping, I would never cook this dish because it would take too much time just to cut everything up. And next, I'm going to set out the pasta noodles, which I have cooked in advance. I usually cook a large batch of uh, angel hair pasta noodles, and I use them for different purposes, uh, all the way from uh, pan frying them or using them in a noodle soup. In this case, I'm going to warm up the uh, noodles, and I'm going to layer the vegetable medley right over them. And next, I'm going to uh, layer some tofu, which I cooked earlier, as I mentioned. 
I cook the tofu separately because it allows me to have a better control of the texture of the tofu. So okay, now the dish is ready. Uh, what is the verdict? Well, if I dare to say so, the vegetable medley is outstanding with complex flavor and texture, very satisfying. And the tofu serves as a very nice meat substitute. In fact, uh, uh, with this dish, I do not miss eating any meat at all. I think this is a lot of fun to eating more vegetables. And with uh, this vegetable medley approach, it would never be boring. Oh well, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, and share.